Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Welcome to my kitchen. I think I stay in here most part of the time. <laughs> ha. I was watching Janet over at My Modern Homestead. Y'all, and she made chicken and dumplings. I love chicken and dumplings, and so does my husband. Now, today here, it was supposed to be up in the 70s, mid-70s. It didn't make it, y'all. It was 72 this morning, but by the time I got home this afternoon from town from doing my running, it was already down to 63. Well, it's down to 59 now, so... A pot of chicken and dumplings sounded really good. So what did I do? I went to Walmart and I bought me some chicken thighs and a can of biscuits. I'm going to cheat on the dumplings. I ain't going to make homemade. I'm going to use canned biscuits. Now, I got chicken thighs and I've already washed them. Now, I don't trim the fat off of them because that just means flavor in your broth. Down here, as you can see, I got a pot of water going. So we're going to dump in some chicken thighs. I just bought these and they are partially frozen. This will make way more than what me and my husband will eat. Because my husband, he just likes the dumplings anyway. He don't care for the chicken. The chicken and dumplings. Now, being from the South, I know some people, when they make chicken and dumplings, they put carrots and celery in their chicken and dumplings. How many times can I say chicken and dumplings? <laughs> um, but around here, I don't put carrots and celery. That's not what I'm having for dinner. That's soup. Or at least ways, that's what I consider soup. Chicken and dumplings for me is just chicken and dumplings. That's it in a thick broth. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, if you add carrots and celery to yours, by all means, you just keep right on doing that. If that's the way you like it, then that's the way you fix it. But I was raised, chicken and dumplings don't have carrots and celery in it. So... We're going to let this cook. It's going to take a couple hours. We're going to let that chicken cook real good. But as soon as it gets done, I'll be back. And I bought just a cheap old can of great value jumbo biscuits. <clears throat> what I will do with these is I will roll these out on the floured surface. And then I'll take my little pizza cutter and I'll cut them up in slices. But now, if y'all haven't checked out Janet at My Modern Homestead, y'all need to go check her out. I will leave her link in the description box below. Y'all need to go check her out and show her some love. She's such a sweetheart, y'all. And if you think about it, please say a prayer for her. Bless her heart, she just lost her mama last week. And I know what that feels like. That, that's a hurt you just don't get over. So y'all lift her name up in prayer and her family that God will strengthen them for the days ahead. But we're going to let this chicken cook and then we'll be back. So y'all stick around because we got some eating to do. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. I used the Nor brand. So we're going to add a little bit of this to this water. So we have a nice, rich broth. I think we're going to add one more teaspoon. We're 
going to put a little bit of salt in here, a little bit of pepper, not much, but a little bit. You know what? We're going to put a little bit of nature seasoning. give this a stir. And this chicken is coming right along. So we're going to let this just continue to cook because that chicken's not done just yet. No, not quite. We're going to let it cook a little bit longer. I'll stick around. Now the chicken is done and I'm going to let it cool on this plate while I get the dumplings rolled out. So let's get down here and get some rolled out. Look Janet, I'm using my rolling pin you sent me. Alright, let's get these biscuits open. get me a paper plate <coughs> to put them on after I get them rolled out. We're going to put a little bit of flour on here so they don't stick. Set them biscuits right there. We're going to dust this rolling pin a little bit. I probably should have let these biscuits set out and get to room temperature, but I didn't. And that's all right. Now, we're just going to cut them. Just like that. We're going to pick them up and put them on the plate. And periodically, <clears throat> I will throw some flour on here in between them all so they don't stick together. My husband, he likes the dumplings. He don't care much about the chicken. But he does like the dumplings, so I try to make extra. Just so he can have a few extras. I was going to go play bingo tonight at the school over here in Oktaha. Tonight's their junior-senior bingo bash for the year. But I don't want to go by myself. And everybody else is busy. So I guess I won't make it. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on here. 
this flour on the plate serves us two purposes. One, to keep the dumplings from sticking together. And two, when I put the dumplings in the pots to cook, I will put flour and all in there because the flour will thicken the broth. So you get double duty. We're just going to keep rolling these out until we get them all done. So we'll be back. Now this is the last one. So we got them all cut up. A little more flour on them. So now we're going to come back over here to the stove. We're going to bring the broth back up to a boil, and then we'll start adding the dumplings. And as the dumplings cook, that's when I'll start uh, deboning the chicken, and I'll give the skin to my dog, but I don't give him chicken bones. But there's the plate of dumplings I got. So, there ought to be plenty of dumplings in it. <clears throat> oh, that chicken's hot. Now it's coming back up to a boil, so we're going to start adding these dumplings a few at a time. This way they don't stick together. Don't want that burner too high because we don't want these dumplings to disintegrate. But we want it high enough to keep it at a boil. And I'm going to keep adding dumplings, and we'll be back here in a minute. 2,000 years later. Now we're going to add the chicken back in. I 
And we're just going to let this cook for a little while. And then it'll be done. Now I might add a little bit of a cornstarch slurry to help thicken it up a little bit. Because I like my broth just a little bit thicker than that. I thought I had enough flour on the dumplings when I dumped them in to make a thicker broth. And maybe I'll just leave it alone and not mess it up. Alrighty. Let's see. We'll add a little bit more seasoning to it. Now there's the chicken and dumplings. Now let's taste them. Chicken and dumplings is something that I rarely make a good pot of. Either the dumplings mostly disintegrate or they just don't taste good. Once in a while, I'll fix a really good pot, but not very often. I know y'all find that hard to believe, right? Because I do. Huh? <laughs> Who mercy. Look at that just steaming. That's just utter goodness. I'm telling you. Utter goodness. I know the anticipation's killing you, isn't it? Because it is me. <laughs> but it's hot. Oh, yeah. Comfort food. Oh, I'm so happy. I made a good pot of chicken and dumplings. <clears throat> Ooh. Now I'm going to eat it and I ain't going to stop. Woo! Doggies, them are good. See, now, I made a good pot this time. Next time I try to make them again, it probably won't be a good pot. I don't know. Maybe it's the weather. I blame everything on the weather. It's not my fault. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's delicious. I'm so proud of myself. Give myself a high five. Ain't nobody else in here do it. I'm all by myself. Ooh, that's a scary thought. But there you have it. Chicken and dumplings. If you got some chicken in your freezer, get it out. Put it in some water on, a, on the stove and cook it. It ain't got to be thawed out. You can cook it from frozen. Thighs do better because that's the fatty part of the chicken, and that's where your flavor's at. So, I always use chicken thighs when I make dumplings. Chicken breast just ain't got enough flavor in it to me because it's all white meat. You need dark meat. So, there you have it. And you can make them with canned biscuits. You don't have to use homemade dough. Do I think they're better with homemade dough? Yeah, because the dough gets fluffier. I personally like a fluffy dumpling. My husband likes a chewy dumpling. So I make them to suit him. Because if I can get him to eat it and he likes it, I did good, y'all. And I took him a couple of pieces of dumpling out there to taste, and he liked it. So <laughs> I'm so happy. But anyhow, I'm going to close this out 
and I'm going to enjoy this good pot of dumplings, or bowl of dumplings. I think I might have to add a little bit more salt to it. I'm a salt freak, y'all. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't retain fluid. So, my only vice in life, other than my mouth, <laughs> is that salt shaker. But it is what it is, right? <laughs> I love you guys for putting up with me. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to enjoy these dumplings while they're still hot, because they ain't good after they get cold. But I pray that each and every one of y'all have a wonderful weekend and a safe and happy Halloween. To all of you who are doing trunk or treat tomorrow night, or if you're waiting till Halloween to do it, have a safe trunk or treat for those little children. Halloween, it ain't about getting out there and, and worshiping the devil and all that stuff. It's about them little kids. Dressing up in their cute little costumes and coming up and telling you, Twinkle Tweet, I want some candy. That's what it's about. Give them little kids some good candy. Don't go buy that cheap stuff, y'all. Come on now, don't, don't be stingy. Y'all buy the good stuff. That's the one thing. When I lived in town, I didn't buy that cheap candy. I bought good candy. I bought the candy bars. Kit Kats, the Snickers, the Paydays, the Butterfingers, the Thousand Grand Bars. You betcha. No bad candy at my house. That'll get you egged real quick. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a wonderful weekend. God bless. Take care. And I hope to see y'all here again tomorrow. Bye now. <laughs>